All right, so this is another way that Witness 6, John, I believe he's Witness 6, uh, confirms George's story. Witness 6 is, he's looking out this direction, right? And he's able to see that George is on the bottom. Why is that? Because George is laying like this on the ground, his head there and his feet over here, looking up, and he's able to see... They're able to see each other. He can't see Trayvon quite from that direction. He can sort of see Trayvon's left-hand side, but he's not entirely sure. Which makes sense. Because Trayvon's back is to him and slightly to the left. So, another way that John confirms George's story, importantly, about the gun, is what is... George's story in regards to how the gun is exposed. What does George say? He says his head is on the sidewalk getting slammed by Trayvon. And he tries to scoot downward. Now if you listen to the interview with this witness, he thinks he sees them in this position at first, but then sees them in another position. He thinks they're on the sidewalk like this. But given how dark it is, they're more than likely off of the sidewalk. The body over like this, more than likely over here. Regardless, the point is, is that George scoots downward this way and right, you could say that way. So what does that tell us about the laws of physics, right? We got some friction going on here. We got a body inside of clothes. And which direction are the clothes going to move when George scoots that way? Well, his clothes are going to move upward. Remember that in your, what was that, fifth grade? <laughs> okay. His clothes are going to move upward that direction. And what is that going to expose? It's going to expose his gun. Witness 6, John confirms yet again another part of George's story.